people are actually notoriously bad at guessing what's going to be effective for themselves. So for smokers, what's going to motivate them to change their behavior? And for other people, what's an effective campaign on the whole? First, we asked what people thought would be effective and ineffective. And the height of the bars here represents how much they liked the campaigns. So they thought campaign C would be the worst and campaign B would be the best. Next, we looked at what happened in their brains when they were watching the three different campaigns. And there we saw a slightly different pattern. We saw the greatest amount of activity in response to campaign C, then B, then A, in a part of the brain that sits right here behind your forehead and tracks how relevant and valuable people find information, how much it really resonates with them. What we found was that although all three campaigns increased calls to the quit line, they did so at different rates. So campaign C increased the calls the most, then B, and then A. So one thing you might notice is that the pattern that we saw in the brain was similar to what happened when we looked at what actually worked in the real world. And that was different than what people told us they thought would happen. So this highlights one of the limitations of just asking people what their intuitions are as well as one of the potential promises of understanding how the brain works and using that to try to make better campaigns.